They're the unstoppable trio who have taken us on some incredible and occasionally terrifying road trips across the globe. And now Richard Hammond, Jeremy Clarkson and James May are getting back <laughs> behind the wheel as they head to Scandinavia for another Grand Tour. <laughs> Literally, that must be one of the best jobs, if not the best jobs in television. No, it's really demanding. <laughs> it's very difficult. It demands a lot intellect. No, it's really easy. It's I know it's not really a job. Well, you I bet you, it's not uh... as easy. I mean, you make you make it look yeah. easy because you lot. No, what we easy. love is we know you're having a really good time doing it. Yeah. Like you can tell that this is an absolute passion of all three of you. Yeah, it's not. It's not difficult. I can't, I can't claim that it is. Dangerous. Um, on occasions. Yeah. And look, just. Just before we go on any further, yes. there is only one topic of conversation for us through this month. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There's only one thing to talk yeah. about. What's I happened? know what it is. Well, do you? Yeah. Because thank you for looking after me. <laughs> yeah. I arrived here, I was a bit early, and there yeah, you yeah. can have a little green room and they put yeah, me yeah, in the yeah. dressing yeah. room. I know. And for the I'm last so half sorry. hour, <laughs> I've been locked in Mortal Kombat. I've taken a picture of my foe <laughs> in this Mortal Kombat because yeah. I was watching the telly in the green room. I was watching you two with the Bond stuff. Yes, yeah. yeah. I love that. Look, all oh, that's nice, nice Aston Martin. Nice yeah. Then I realised I'm not watching this alone, am I? No, because Barry, my friend, I've called him Barry. We've got oh a close-up of this. We've got the, the spider. the spiders. That's him. Oh my so God! So he had, yeah. he pinned you in the corner of the dressing room. Well, we've been moving around each other for the last half hour. I am so I, if I'd, sorry. If I'd had longer, yeah, I reckon I could have trained him up and probably saddled him and ridden him in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come and that would have been a real because I mean, the word, it. the word came arrival. up from downstairs. We don't know what's going on, but but Richard's screaming in his dressing room. <laughs> <laughs> well, we could only apologise. He was, he was big. Yes, that is a big, big bad Barry. That's For what sure. we call him. Well, it could have been me flushed down the lavatory and him coming in here. <laughs> um, so, so listen. I mean, I did sort of touch on it briefly there because the challenge. I mean, you're you're in the snow. You're in the ice. You're mm. going across Scandinavia. You. The nice bit is you got to get to pick your vehicles this time, and you sort of love each of you. Love Love these cars for different reasons. Yeah, and we were glad we did that. We've been doing this show for 125 years, <laughs> the three of us, but we still try and keep it fresh and try and reinvent it. And during lockdown, I mean, we don't mention it, but when we couldn't go anywhere, yeah. we did those sort of stripped down versions, and that did us a lot of good because it reminded us what the heart of the show is. Yeah. Um, and we've brought that into this one, but also we remind, we have to remember, you know, we are we're car nerds. You don't have to be to watch the show. In mm. fact, please don't. Mm -hmm. Great as you are, we'll do the car nerdery. Yeah. But we have to do that for you. Mm -hmm. That has to be in. So we were able to pick three cars that we absolutely loved, sort of rally-inspired road cars. So I had a Subaru Impreza, which is one of my favourite cars of all time. James had the Mitsubishi Evo, which is a Yobbo's car. This huge <laughs> battle between those. Mine, mine would have been the Audi. Yeah, well, now, Jeremy chose the Audi because it, it didn't, strictly speaking, fit the criteria. Mm -hmm. It was never a rally car but it was the most comfortable, and he's the oldest. <laughs> <laughs> so he was perfectly happy with it. Sensible. But we loved our cars, we really did. And so, going to the ice, he said he hadn't done that for a while, you no. know, it was all very new. I, I, I can't get my head round what sort of insurance paperwork, <laughs> if any, you guys ever bother um, with. If we light a candle in here, there has to yeah. be a risk assessment on the both of and us. And a fire warden. Yeah, and a fire warden with a bucket. So how do you manage to do, to go to an old Cold War submarine base and race in the darkness <clears throat> down a tunnel and see if you can stop before the dead brick end? Um, largely, we lie. We just, you know, say we're not. It's our insurance did go up massively. I've done my part in in pushing the insurance premiums yeah. up, and now James May mm -hmm. has taken on my role. I mean, he's stolen my thing. I mean, it was quite. I do. It, <laughs> I mean, he now does I'm glad it. you rule him. Oh, I thought he'd had it. For him, for him, it was a bit of a scary one. I mean, you yeah, were here, so Jeremy at the time going, it's a big one. Oh, yeah. No, I ran up that tunnel thinking, hmm, and then saw the car and thought, oh, this could be bad. And then. Relieved by old, the fact he walked. Silly out. old Spaniel got out of the car, shook his head, and he was all right. But he got broken rib. Yeah, a bit. A bit of a red bit. <laughs> we but didn't hang around. Really sympathetic well, to because it, but... those are the rules. We've always done that. Um, if one of us is hurt or down, the other two have to carry on. My view is we're a team, yeah? Yeah. Three people. We are a team. It's for the team. So if one of us, say, hits a wall in a car really fast and can't carry on, mm -hmm. if the other two do, as a team, we're still carrying on. Yeah. Mission achieved. Mm -hmm. And it, But actually, what was interesting about that was it made you two, you and Jeremy, even more competitive by all accounts. Yeah, I think maybe James has a calming influence or something. I don't know. But yeah, it did get a bit silly, the pranking in general. Did he push your sort of vehicle, your house bit you were staying in? Because you were turning it off mm. the side he, of the he, ski he, slope. He pushed me down a ski slope. Yes, he did do that. Yes, it's bullying. 
in the workplace. Because in Scandinavia, they do, because of the mining and stuff, oh, they actually oh. move their houses on the backs of trucks yeah. for wherever they need yeah. to be, don't they? So you just shift the house. Yeah. Full-size so house. That's your idea, your take on the theme, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Well, because with that, I don't, listen, I don't want to try and pretend our job's in any way brainy and clever, because it definitively isn't. Mm. Um, but we always, we need stories. We need to, we can't just go somewhere and hope something fun happens. Yeah. Because it costs considerably more than a pound. In fact, today, two pounds mm -hmm. to make the show. It's quite expensive. Yeah. And we can't just say, hey, we'll go to Scandinavia and see, see what, what happens. See what happens, yeah. So we have to have sort of a plan. We've got, uh, we've got a clip. Here you go. Clip away. So did he you... didn't know you were in there? No, no. I, I did make a mistake by staying on board when he dropped. <laughs> but again, that's where... So we make sort of a plan, mm. but we know most of what goes into the show will be what actually happens. It's why we're often asked, um, oh, have you got any outtakes? No, that's all the show. On, all on yeah. the telly. They are yeah, the show. Yeah, that is it. The outtakes, if anything, are the bits that we will have planned and, OK, we'll go there because we know we can do something there. But mm. we're really doing that in the hope that we don't have to use that because something else will happen, and yeah. it always does. And so um, this is massive, uh, and, uh, and you never really know whether or not, you know, you're commissioned to do another one. Yeah. But I'm assuming that you are, and I'm assuming you're thinking about it already. Um, yeah, they take a lot of planning. And you can yeah. as well, you know. Oh, well, uh, there's so much planning involved in building one of those shows. Just, I mean, there's a lot of us here. Where do you want to go? What do you want to do? I don't know. Um, we actually have a meeting next week. The, 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 we're often asked, oh, do you all see each other between shows? Well, yes, because, you know, we, we finish one of the shows, then it's got to be edited, and Andy Wilman, that you both know, he's a genius, puts a thing together. But we're all involved in seeing that through various stages. Then by the time we finish that, we're starting to plan the next one. Maybe you need to go somewhere that's got a good golf course nearby <laughs> because that's your yeah. new love, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Well, love is pitching it a bit. <laughs> OK, new hobby. Quite like. <laughs> quite like. I, I quite like... Are you thing. saying that because the other two hate it so much? No, it's a complete shameless... Is it volte facce? Because uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm joining in with my mates laughing at golf. Ah, golf, look at golfers with their silly outfits. <laughs> Then a couple of mates of mine were playing it when I was in France and I watched them and thought, that looks like fun. And I had a little go and thought, this is amazing. <laughs> so I am shamelessly saying, turns out it's really good fun. I'm yeah. useless before you ask. But it really, really winds the other two up. Yeah, but I'm not doing it for that reason. Really? Genuinely not. <laughs> I'm doing it because I'm fascinated by it. And I want to... Have you tried it? No. No. Have you tried it? Who I've, was I've it that said it ruins thing. a good walk? It's near impossible. I don't know how people. We've got, we've got mates that we got mates my that do it. My husband, my husband does it. My kids, but the boys have suddenly started to get into it. But that, but I mean, you know. Well, so I've, yeah. I've been to. I haven't played an actual round yet, but I've been to a driving. <laughs> so we. And what have you done? Describe this as your new is this love. Crazy golf. You done crazy golf. Is this what we're talking? <laughs> no. About? You know, driving. Did you manage to stand... get it through Cinderella's castle? No, it's where, it's where you stand on the thing and you hit down the <laughs> thing and you don't go around the actual course. <laughs> okay. So you've got to get your swing right, and then you've got to. Whoa, and I've been practicing that. <laughs> And I, once in a hundred, I'll hit it right, and it goes, thwang, and then, wow, if I could have any control over where that went, yeah, <laughs> yeah. that would just be awesome. Yes, it's <laughs> so I'm going to echoed keep by lots of golfers. Yeah. Um, it's really lovely to see you. Well, it's Thank very you. nice to see you Thank guys. You very Thank much. You. For Thanks for having me on. Uh, Grand Tour, uh, a, uh, well, it's on uh, Amazon Prime. Uh, now, is it a, is it a, a Scandic flick? Is it called? It's a called a scandal. Scandi flick, which Scandi is flick. a clever pun on a rally driving yeah. term. A Scandi flick is when you flick the car in, ah. but Scandi flick as in a movie. Nice. Oh, that's, yeah, that's really clever. That is clever. Yeah. Well done. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank pleasure. You very Lovely much. to see you. Thank you, and you as well. Don't go into dressing room 16B because <laughs> you might be holding the door shut. <laughs> you need to really push it open. <laughs> Not going anywhere near it. <laughs>